Hey, what's up? It's Kyle with KyleParish.net, bringing you another tutorial in Photoshop. Got a couple of pictures sent to me, and uh, need to put this guy in this picture with his family. There's a couple of things I notice right when I look at the pictures. The uh, the brightness is is greater on this uh, picture than this one. A little, little bit more darker. So we're gonna have to uh, change that a little bit too. But first off, let's go ahead and jump in here and. Let's zoom in. Spacebar allows you to move the picture around. Spacebar while you while you move the mouse, of course. Okay, what you want to do is grab your quick selection tool. Okay, adjust the uh, brush size, you know, to however you need it, depending on the size of of uh, the material you want to select. Just drag the mouse. Once you have it all pretty much selected let go and you notice it, it picked up some other things so we need to remove those and the way you remove those is hold down the alt key and just uh, just go around if you notice the, little, the cursor here when I let go of the alt key it's it's a plus sign so it's gonna add to it when I hold down the alt key it is a minus and it takes away so just go around and remove what you need to if you remove too much it's okay you can just come back and add it back it's so got a little stuff around the ears and top of the hat the open bracket and close bracket sizes your brushes down so keep from having to go up here and, and change it. It's a little shortcut. Okay, we're getting pretty close. That's close enough for uh look at this little spot on his arm. Okay, that's close enough for the tutorial. I see one more spot right here. Okay, what we're going to do, now that that's selected and you have your layer selected, Control C, that copies it. We're going to come over to this other picture, Control V, we'll paste it. Now, obviously, that looks really stupid. Hit Control T, and you can resize it, but to maintain. The, the right ratio you want to hold down the shift button so I'm just looking at their faces try to get his his head about the same size as their head more or less hit enter to accept that that's pretty close right there let's go ahead and uh, adjust the uh, the color before we start moving it around go to image adjustments curves now if there was a lot of of uh, red tint let's say the picture was taken in another location and uh, different day and everything and, and it was just a lot of red on him you can come in here and remove some of the red tones or if everybody else was red you you know obviously that <laughs> that's too much but Control Z undoes that, cancel. So what you want to do is go to Image, Adjustments, Curves, and just the RGB channel. Here's where you can add some light or darkness. So I'm just gonna I'm not gonna match him up perfect because not everybody's skin tone is the same. But bring him up just enough to make him look like it has the same the same lighting that looks pretty good right there okay I'm gonna turn off that layer I'm, I'm just gonna take re real quick a uh, a look at how much I need to cut out of, of, of these people here in order to get him behind them so grab the quick selection tool once more close bracket 
makes the brush size larger. I don't think I need to get up and around the hair. I think just right here around the shoulder, the arms, the girl, and just a little extra. To me, that's that's more than plenty. Go into refine edge. Let's take a look. Wow, that's something else. Um, <laughs> smooth. Just smooth that edge down just a little bit. Maybe even feather it just a, a pixel or two. Let's try that. Hit OK. OK, with that selected, I'm going to copy, create another layer, and paste right inside there. So if I turn that off, here's what you're going to see. I put him behind them. Turn the layer on. So we're getting we're getting close. He looks still. He's, he's looks like he's too large. That looks pretty good right there. Hit enter to accept that. There you have it. That's pretty close. I mean, you can go in here and and fine tune. Uh, grab the eraser tool. Make some little minor changes. You can even add a little shadow. Uh, or just do it like a little bit of a burn. Grab your burn tool. A mid-tones exposure 100% is way too much. Let's try about 35. Of course, his layer is selected. Otherwise, you wouldn't see any any change on him. And that's pretty good right there. Now, another thing to look at here. There's it's not a problem, but sometimes you may when you're putting uh, an image from one picture to another a lot of times you'll have a difference obviously in the in the tone of the of the you know the colors of the picture but you'll also have a problem with one being sharper than the other and I never sharpen it just it just looks nasty with the pixels and stuff so I would just blur the other one to match the blurriest one so whichever one is the, the blurriest I would select I would select the other one and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and just just add tiny little bits at a time zoom out look at the picture compare them zoom back in look again and uh, don't overdo it because you can really you know make it make a mess with it if you're not careful so hope you learned something and uh, see you next time